Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Um, as I said in my last one, I'm going to show you now how you might put the words surfs up in your, um, or, or whatever word you want, into your uh, um, sign. Okay, so it's quite easy. Here is your text box, okay, text tool. A lot of people go like this, they create a marquee and they start typing. Please, whatever you do, don't do that. Okay, let's delete that. Um, if you go to text, you can click and start typing. That's fine. And that's going to give you a straight line of text. I don't want that either. Okay. I actually want to create text, a long text. I want to align it. I want to fit it to a path. So first of all, I need to click, click on that edge, and then text. I'm going to be fitting it to a path. It's actually already fitting to a path. Can you see that? Okay. I'm going to choose a font that I like. I'm going to choose a large font that I like. I'm going to write surfs up. Okay. Now, I don't know why but this little exclamation mark has disappeared, and I don't know why that is. Okay. Sometimes it's just a little bit of a glitch. There you go, it's working now. Can you see this? I can move my writing backwards and forwards. I can also move it up and down. So I'm actually moving it up. So I'm moving it away from there. So it's sitting in the middle of my um, of my wave. So you can see I've got surfs up there. I like that. I'm going to hit finish. Oh, I'm going to hit sorry the um, the pick tool. So what I've got there is surfs up. But at the moment it's black. So if it's black, it's going to be etched in. And as I talked about before, if that etches in, it's going to take forever. Okay, so instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a hairline outline and I'm going to give it no fill. So all of a sudden it's going to look like that and it's going to etch like that. Okay, I don't mind that. I think that's going to work. Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is about how to install the surfer in there. Okay, now you could draw the surfer in like this, this one here, but how hard is that going to be and is it really going to look like a real surfer? What I did is I went online and I searched for a thing called a silhouette. So when you're looking for something, can you please, if you're looking for an image, search for a, hang on, it's too big, I'll write it down for you. Search for a sil, search for a silhouette, okay, or whatever it is that you're looking for. So I searched for a, I searched for a surfer silhouette free, okay. And I happen to be able to find a PNG file that I could download. A JPEG file would work well. A CDR, a Corel Draw file would work, or a vector image, they would also work. Okay, but I ended up finding a um, PNG. And what I've done is I saved that PNG file on my desktop. So now I'm going to go and retrieve it. File, import. This was it. The KISS PNG silhouette, I'm going to import it. And what it'll do is it'll give me the top corner and tell me where is the bottom corner of the image that you want. Okay, so there's my image. Now, a bit of conceptual understanding for you here. This is not a vector image, this is a bitmap image. If I zoom into there, can you see that that's pixels? Yeah, it's pixels of black and grey and grey. Okay. I do not want it to be a pixelated image. I want it to be lines. So it needs to be turned into a vector image. The easiest way to do that, and this is what Corel made for it, is to trace that bitmap and convert it into a vector object. Okay, so it's an outline trace. That's a piece of line art. Sometimes I'll need to reduce the bitmap because it's too large. And as you can see, it's thinking. That's the before image, that's the after image. If I zoom in here, oops, can you see how that's really pixelated? That's not. Okay, so if I zoom back out, this here has got this grey and white check. That means that there's nothing there, it's invisible, it's, it's glass. Okay, that's exactly what I want. I want to make sure that I delete the original image. I want to remove the background if I can. Okay. Often I'll need to remove the color from the entire image, but that shouldn't matter if you've got a silhouette. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. 
and all of a sudden I've got this. It's in black. So I'm going to do the same thing as what I did with Surf's Up. Yeah? I'm going to change it to a hairline outline and I'm going to give it no fill. Okay? The problem with that is he's surfing a wave that's there, not a wave that's there. So what can I do? I can mirror him. Yeah? So I'm going to move him. I'm going to move him here. I might rotate him a little bit. Does that look a bit better? About there, maybe. Maybe make him a little bit smaller. No, I'll keep him about there. Okay. So now I've got my surface sitting there. I've got my surface up, and I'm going to have this this image here. Okay. Um, a couple of things that I might do with that. What I might do is I might go and use my virtual segment delete to delete that part of the curve, so that um, so that the the surfboard sits there and I don't have the wave coming through there. Can you see how that's played around with this surfs up, this, this part here? So I might need to play around with that and move that back. So you can see, I might need to move that back so it's sitting right. For some reason, it doesn't want to do that. There you go. I've got to move it back a fair way. Okay. So just by using the up down arrow, I can move that to there. Okay. So now I've got my surfs up. I've got my surfer. I might, I wonder whether this is going to make another problem for me. I do that no that hasn't changed the surface up it has moved that around um, so I might need to play around with that a little bit as well so that's that can I get you to have a play around now I want you to play with some fonts and text I want you to play with importing if you need to importing an image and playing around with it so that it's no longer a bitmap but it's a vector and that it um, and that it looks right it fits right it's edited right and sits on your um, sits on your sign right okay